One of my favorite quotes in life is, don't count the days, but make the days count. In 2021, that is the energy we're coming with. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jan Muchivi. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, happy new year. It's your girl Jan, my first video of 2021. If it's your first time here, first of all, welcome. And if you haven't already, please do click the subscribe button down below because I have so much content stacked up for you guys in 2021 and I really do not want you to miss it. So please click that subscribe button down below and join the family. And if you are part of the family already and it's not your first time watching, welcome back you know i miss you guys every time that i'm gone but sis is here sis is around sis is here to stay <laughs> If you are a person who has a lot going on in your life and you're looking for a way to be productive and efficient in the things that you're doing, this video is for you. Personally, I feel like I have a lot of things going on in my life. So I'm a full-time medical student in fourth year of medicine, as well as being a YouTuber running two separate channels. Check out Uganda Folk Tales if you haven't already, as well as endeavoring to post consistently on all other social media platforms, as well as having to set aside time um, you know for family and loved ones and people who mean something to me sometimes when you're a busy person it can be really hard to find a balance between everything that you're doing but for me it just comes down to prioritizing in a certain period of time so there's times where you are spending more time on one thing at the expense of something else and vice versa it's just about prioritizing what is important to get done in that moment and i actually learned that really recently from listening to a podcast by a friend of mine called Hayley melinda she is amazing super inspirational a real model check out her podcast if you haven't already highly recommend it she was talking about how balance is not a real thing it's about prioritizing so let's get into the five tips to having the most productive week what i'm recommending here is a weekly addition to your routine what do i mean let's set the scene so it's a sunday night you're lounging a lot of people take sundays as a chill day but i recommend sundays as the perfect opportunity to set pace for the week ahead and plan if you look at the most successful people in the world or the people who are the best at anything that they do yeah they they didn't get into that position by accident they made a plan and they executed it so planning i cannot stress the importance of planning you guys yeah personally for me i feel like up to 30 percent of getting the things done that i need to do is the planning of them and then obviously the following 70 percent execution so what do i suggest that you can do on a sunday night i'm suggesting an overview of the week write down a list of tasks of everything that you want to get done in that week personally i like to write mine down on a whiteboard and then um put that up on my desk where i can look at it every day so today is a sunday and this is a real time task list of the things that i do want to get done in this coming week if you don't have a whiteboard that's okay you can write it on paper and refer to it throughout the week and go crossing off things on the list as you get them done so tip number two is off the back of tip number one once you've made that list um, your overview plan for the week i think it's important to take things off that list and put them onto daily to-do lists personally i like to make my daily to-do lists on the morning of the day and when i make my list they are scheduled to the minute i schedule everything down to literally the the minutes i'm going to spend in the shower the minutes i'm going to spend dressing up the minutes i'm going to spend eating my breakfast that might seem a bit over the top to you guys understandable <laughs> the challenge i've found though with scheduling my day down to the minute is that sometimes unexpected things happen throughout the day which make you fall behind on your schedule i would say try as much as you can to be able to stick to it and um, a lot of the time i find myself running a bit late behind my schedule but i know as long as i'm still getting everything on this list done and by the time i sleep everything on this list is done then i'll be like that's okay i will take it easy on myself and i will be compassionate you can't come and kill yourself also direction over speed you need to be compassionate with yourself we're only human and if there's things that you had set out to do in your day that you haven't been able to get around to today put it on your to-do list for tomorrow get it done tomorrow unless of course there's a pressing deadline then you might have to sacrifice some sleep but otherwise tomorrow is another chance within itself to execute the things on this list my third tip is to wake up early and by early i'm talking early like 
five slash six i can't say this is something i'm perfect at myself because i'm not gonna lie there's something about the morning gear yeah? sleep just becomes extra sweet in the morning and it just has a hold on me it's something i'm working on being able to wake up early every single day when you wake up early early it gives you more hours in the day to be able to get more things done i find that on a day when i wake up at 5 a.m that productive time that i have between five and seven i get so much done on my list that i definitely would not have been able to if i hadn't woken up early tip number four is exercise slash working out make sure you have it scheduled in your week and when i say this i am preaching to myself in 2020 it's something i didn't really take that seriously hence the quarantine weight that i've put on However, the more I've looked into the lives of productive people, successful people and billionaires at that, they all schedule in working out as a non-negotiable. And it makes sense because when you exercise, your brain releases endorphins, it elevates your mood, it makes you feel good and puts you in a better headspace to get all the other things done on your list that you actually need to get done. So it puts you in a better position to be more productive and to be more efficient. If you watched my last video on my 2021 goal, is something that I am going to be scheduling in three times a week. I would ideally like to be going to the gym, but whilst our Prime Minister decides whether he'd like to open the gyms again or not, um, I will be doing home workouts and jogging as well. So my fifth and final tip for having a productive week is, drum roll please, having three major outcomes for the week or what I like to call your agenda. Prioritise the top three things, the main outcomes that you want out of that week what you want to be able to say by the end of the week. I'm on track with the things that are of the greatest priority at this moment of time. And one thing I do recommend as well is that at the end of the week, when you have achieved all those things, having a reward or something you can do for yourself or give yourself to make yourself feel good. It could be something as small as, you know, buying and eating your favorite chocolate bar or having a glass of wine and chilling whilst you watch Girlfriends on Netflix. And when the week is done, one thing that I also do recommend, again on the Sunday, just as important as planning, is reviewing the week that has just done. So what went well this week? What did I not achieve? What can I improve on next week? What can I do better next week? Essentially, that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to become better, trying to elevate and achieve things we've never achieved before. And that is what I would totally love for you guys, which is why I'm sharing these tips with you. In sharing these tips, I'm taking them on myself as well in the hope for a very productive 2020 so let me know if you will be using these tips down below if you like this video if you like this these productivity kind of videos and if you will be taking these tips on down below in the comment section let's get a conversation started but otherwise thank you for watching and don't forget to like this video please give it a thumbs up comment and subscribe too so you don't miss my upcoming videos and i will see you in my next video love you guys Bye.